Okay, so now that we understand how glaciers shape the landscape, we should be able to read the landscape and interpret how glaciers shape them. Um, John Muir, who is a famous naturalist, a famous geologist, was the first to visit Yosemite Valley. Um, sorry, not the first, I misspoke. Absolutely not the first, there were people there before him. He first visited, he himself first visited Yosemite Valley um, in 1868 and then returned in 1869 to live there for the next several years because he loved the, lo the location so much. Um, and after being there for a couple years, he concluded that the entire valley was formed by glaciers. He thought the glaciers converged at Yosemite Valley. And that's why you had this huge valley, this huge gorge surrounded by superb cliffs and waterfalls. All right, so what evidence? This is a, an image of uh, Yosemite Valley. There's Half Dome, um, which you may have seen as your desktop screensaver at some time, at some point background. Um, so looking at Yosemite Valley, what evidence is there of past glaciers? You might think, well, the valley's U-shaped, right? And that's true. This entire valley was formed by one huge glacier. Um, looking here from another view here, you can still see Half Dome in the background, but here we see um, one of the waterfalls, right? And it's a hanging valley, right? So that's showing that there was a smaller glacier that entered into a larger glacier, creating this hanging valley. One of the reasons why Yosemite is one of the most gorgeous places on Earth. 